We all very well know that model, view and controller are the core components of MEC application. In our last session, we had a discussion on controller. Today, we are going to discuss view in detail. In MVC application, view is responsible for the user interface. I'll continue to work on the same application that we have created in our previous sessions. This is the same web application which we have created using the ASP.NET Core MVC template. I'll quickly run and show you the user interface of this application. This is how our application looks. At the top, we have a header. At the bottom, we have a footer. And next, we have a content area. Can you see the views folder here? This folder contains all the views. If I expand this views folder, we can see different folders, home, shade and tutorial. While working with the views, you should remember a few things. Here, folder names plays very important role. Home folder contains all the views that are particular to the home controller. And this shared folder contains the views that are shared across the controllers. And the same way, tutorial folder contains the views that are specific to the tutorial controller. Let me just show you what is inside the home folder. Inside the home folder, we have index.cshtml and privacy.cshtml. Let's quickly go back to controllers folder. See, here we have home controller. Inside the home controller, you can see index action method and this index action method is returning a view here which view is it returning this index action method is returning a view which is inside home folder this is the name of the controller and inside the home folder you have index.cshtml this is the name of the action method and it is returning the index.cshtml the same way, home controller is having one more action method that is privacy. Can you see the privacy.cshtml inside the home folder? This is the view that is returned by the privacy action method. Because by default, view method returns a view that is having same name as the action method. We are talking about this return view method. Getting confused, let's make it simpler. When this index action method returns a view, behind the scene, a process called as view discovery takes place. View discovery is not a rocket science. This is a simple rule used by the runtime to search for the right view. Runtime decides that view name and view file name both should match with each other. To understand the view discovery, it's crucial to understand the search order. When our action method returns a view, the search starts from the view folder. Then inside the view folder, it search file the folder that matches the controller name. Then inside that folder, it returns a file that matches the name of an action method. By any chance, if that file um, by any chance, if that file is not available in this order, then it searches inside the shade folder. Let's take an example of index action method. This index action method is returning a view. Then search starts from the views folder. Inside the views folder, it searches for the controller name. So home is the home is the name of the controller. Then yes, we have a folder with the name home. Then Next, it searches for the file that is having the name of the action method. Here, index is the name of the action method. Then it returns index.cshtml. If the file was not available in this order, then it would have searched inside the shade folder. Let's move further and understand the view file. Can you see the files with the extension .cshtml? These files are called as razor files. Few important things to know about these razor files are they are having the file extension .cshtml and razor files can have a combination of HTML and CSS code. The CSS being a server-side code and HTML being a client-side code. 
When you use a combination of CSS and HTML, CSS code is processed on the server and the result is embedded into the HTML and the final HTML is sent back to the browser. Inside shared folder, there is a file by name layout.cshtml. This file decides the layout of our application. This is our application. This is layout file. Inside this header tag, we can find the link to home and privacy. At the bottom, we have footer here. Where is one more important section? Can you see render body here? This is very important because this acts as a placeholder. Now we are at home page. When I click on privacy, can you notice something? Rest everything is same. The header, the footer, only this particular section has changed. This is because of the render body. Render body acts as a placeholder and all the child views will get displayed over there. In our case, home, privacy, they're all the child views. If you want to modify the layout of your application, then you should modify the layout file. Now let's do one thing. Let's go ahead and add tutorial. What I will do, I'll copy this. I'll copy this one and I'll paste it over here. Next, I'll change the name to tutorial and tutorial is our controller name and we want to display index file. I'll save the change. Let's run and see if the changes are reflecting in our application. Tutorial is added. When I click on tutorial, um, tutorial view is displayed. This is the beauty of layout page. Here we have view imports file. This is a common file accessible by all the views and this contains the directives shared by many views. And next we have view start file. This is very important file because whatever the code you place in this file, this runs before each view. So you can place any code that has to run before each view. That's the reason here we have mentioned which is the layout. I have something interesting. Guess what? We are going to create new view. Let's not waste time. I will right click on the home folder, select, okay, I will select add, then view, choose razor view empty, I will change the name to contact, we have contact view, I will remove everything, I will simply say, to make this work, we should change the controller, I will come to the controllers folder, then we have created we have created new view inside home folder home folder contains all the views that are particular to the home controller so i'll open home controller what i will do i'll add one more action method i'll copy this one and i'll change the name to contact this will return the contact view I'll save it. I have to do one more change. I'll come to the layout page. Here, I'll modify the layout to reflect our new view. I want it to be next to privacy. I'll change the name to, I'll change the link name to contact us. We have to mention the name of the controller. Here, it is mentioned as home. Yes, it is inside the home controller. It is fine. Next, this ASP action, this here we have to mention the name of the action method, which is the which is our action method. Contact is our action method. Okay, now we are done with the changes. I'll save and run the application. Can you see contact us here? The changes are reflecting. I hope it will work fine. I'll click on contact us. Here we have our contact view. I hope you are comfortable with the views now. Thanks for your time and see you soon in the next video. Thank you.